Hi everybody, good to see you. Let's sing hello and then we're going to get going on doing some shopping today. Sing hello to everyone, sing hello to everyone, sing hello to everyone, sing hello. Clap hello to everyone, clap hello to everyone, clap hello to everyone, clap hello. And wriggle hello to everyone, wriggle hello to everyone, wriggle hello to everyone, wriggle hello. So here we are, and quite a lot of people have gone back to school and nursery, and quite small people are probably going to have to go out with their grown ups to do some shopping. And it can be quite a difficult thing to do. It gets a bit boring sometimes, doesn't it? Sometimes there's a lot of sitting in the buggy and not being able to see quite what's happening. And there's quite a bit of having to wait, wait, wait. And then everyone's in a hurry. Oh dear. But it can be a bit different. You can do something exciting. Maybe if you've got a grown up who feels like doing this to help. If you're going to the supermarket, you could sit in the trolley. When your grown ups pushing the trolley around the supermarket, you could pretend that you're driving it. And you could say, I'm driving the big lorry to deliver the food. Or you might want it to be maybe a police car and it's got to go fast all the way around. Your grown up can ask lots of questions. And sometimes you'd be able to make your grown up stop by saying, you just reach the traffic light, stop, or go this way, go that way. And the grown up might say, Please, can you drive me to where all the tins are? Or, Could you drive me to the potatoes? And then push you there, and you're pretending to drive. So, grown ups and children have to do all of this together. And another thing you can say when you're going around the supermarket is, You can help to find things. And your grown up might say, have a look at the tins and tell me, can you see the red tins? And you look and you say, look, I see some of tomatoes on. You might have even seen a tin like that at home before and you might know what's inside it. Although you might not be able to read yet, often you can recognise what something looks like. So you can help to find things. The grown up asks you all the right questions. And sometimes you might be able to help to choose something. Well, none of us has got much money at the moment. And there isn't a lot of choosing. Often it's off just looking to see which things don't cost too much money. But if there is some choosing to do, you might be able to help. What if your grown up said, Do you want this today, or would you rather have your usual? cornflakes. You might look at the package and think, hmm, that looks tasty. Yes, let's have that one today. Or you might go and the grown-up might say, shall we buy some bananas? Or do you think we should buy apples today? And you might be able to choose. If you're going to buy both of them, you're really lucky. But then when you're there, there's another game too. The grown up might say, Do you know what that is? You might look at it and say, No. And they can tell you that's an avocado pear. You might not buy one, but we can guess what they are. Do you know what this is? You probably say, Nana, or yes, banana. And sometimes you can play another game at the fruit and vegetables. And when your grown up says, what do you think this looks like? You might say, I think it's a hedgehog. <laughs> and then if they say, well, what does this look like? You might say, I think it's a telephone, a yellow telephone. Hello? There's lots of games you can play. You can make up different names for the fruit and vegetables. You can guess what they are. You can help to choose things. You can find the right tins, you can drive the trolley, and then when you drive the trolley right to the end, where your grown up has to pay at the till, you're queuing up, and you get to the bit where all of the things come out of the trolley and go on to 
little shelf that moves me along, goes towards where the grown-up is going to pay the money, you might be able to help by taking some things out of the tray and putting them onto the moving shelf. You might be able to move some, pick something like the marmite up, or maybe a big jar of cocoa. They're not things that break very easily, and you could do it if you're grown up for that you. So when you get to the other end and the grown up puts the trolley through and starts putting the bags in, then you have to be the person who guards the bags. You can pretend you're a big guard sitting in the trolley or if you're walking, standing up beside it, pretend you've got a special guard hat on. And you fold your arms and you say, please don't touch our trolley. And you could pretend that there were going to be dinosaurs coming into the shop to eat all the food in the trolley. And you say, no, no dinosaurs eating our food today. And you're the guard. And then, trying to go home, you might have to go on the bus. You probably have to maybe get back in the buggy and there are bags hanging everywhere. And oh my goodness, it's exhausting. And you get home and everything has to be unpacked. Maybe you have a little drink first. And this is going to be a snack. Perhaps you could try something that you bought that day. Maybe you might be able to open that packet of cornflakes or grown up to open it for you and take a few out. Taste them and see what they're like. Maybe you'd be able to have one of the apples that you bought. Have the whole one for a change instead of having it cut up that you have to buy them. Lots of different things to try. And you can help the grown up by standing all of the things as you take them out on the carpet, on the floor, in the kitchen maybe. And then your grown up will like to put them themselves onto the shelves and into the cupboard and into the fridge so that they know where they all are when they're going to use them. But you can help by getting them out of the bag, standing them up in a line, all ready to go on the shelves. So that's a lot of things that you can do to help. But if you're grown up, got a box at home, I wonder whether you could make your very own shop at home, a pretend shop. What do you need? But when I was making my shop, I got one of these boxes, any kind of box will do. You might have a plastic box that you keep toys in or the washing in, and you could use a washing up bowl or something, and just set it down on the carpet, and that's going to be your counter, your place where you work when you're the shopkeeper, and where you have your money. So the box is quite a good thing for the money. I've got to use this box and open it there. And inside, a bit of pretend money. You might have something like that that somebody might have given you once. Some pretend money there. But you could use a bit of paper. And then I made some money, some coins. I made them from a bit of paper all cut up and then I did a stamper on it. And a big one. You could do this too. And your grown up, of course, can help you to do it. I made a smaller one. Masterful on that one. So you've got your money in there. You're going to put that on top of your counter in your box, like that. And then you might want to have maybe some paper so that you could write down the things that people are asking for. And you might want to have a pencil to write with. So on top of your counter, you would have your pencil, your paper, and your box full of money. And then on the front of that box, get your grown up to help you to make a sign. If anybody knows what that says, a sign that says open. And on the other side, when you turn it over, it says closed. Show that the shop is open. So I'll move those things and show you in the front what it will look like. Open, and you finish work for the day in your shop. There you are, it says, closed. So where are we going to put all the food? We've got the counter ready. 
I think we need to set all the food and the other things that we're going to have in the shop. What will we sell? Oh, will it be a toy shop? Sell some of the toys. Will it be a fruit and vegetable shop? And we could sell some of those things. Will it be a shop that sells only food? And you can borrow some real tins from the kitchen. It's fun to have those in your shop. And you could, if you've got some pretend food that you might have been giving some time, produce some of that as well. And food that could go in. Where are we going to put it? So if we put it on the floor in front of the counter, we need something to show, don't we, that this is the shop. I got a tea towel, a nice pretty tea towel with bright pictures on it, the seaside one. I laid it all out on the floor in front of my counter and put all of my things on top of it so that everybody could see them. Now, who's going to come and do the buying in the shop? Well, maybe a grown up, or if you've got a sister or a brother or a friend. They might come and they're going to need a bag to put their shopping in. So you might have a toy bag like that, a bigger one like that, if you're going to do lots of tins to go inside. I think you could put the tin in this one, couldn't you? Let's have a try. Oh, yes, look. You've got a tin in there easily. You could put a few in. Or you could borrow one of the bags that your grown ups use when they go to the shop. A cloth one would be best. And then, they're going to need some money and something to put it in. There might be an old purse somewhere in the house that you could use the paper money in and a zippy bit to put some coins in. Well, you might want to make a card because lots of people buy their shopping with a special card that they hold out now, don't they? Probably usually do that. So you could make a little card when you were making pretend money. You might have a bag to put the money in like this. It's a tiny Percy bag. Doesn't matter if it's not a real purse. So the shopper can come along and you can take turns to do some shopping and buy things. I think it's time for us to sing a song. Let's go shopping together. Let's go on the bus and let's make our shopping go up and down. We're carrying it home afterwards, quite tired, sitting on the, on the bus and the shopping's going up and down. I wonder if there's anything else happening on the bus. Let's see. Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The shopping on the bus goes up and down, up and down, up and down. The shopping on the bus goes up and down all day long. And the children on the bus are feeling quite Tired, feeling quite tired, feeling quite tired. Children on the bus are feeling quite tired all day long. And the grown ups on the bus are holding the bags, holding the bags, holding the bags. The grown ups on the bus are holding the bags all day long. So there you are. You've got home. It's time to unpack the shopping and all the unpacking. I had a little snack. When we're playing in our toy shop, let's see if we can think of a song that would go with working in our toy shop. I know. You could say to the grown up, Oh, what will you buy in our shop today? Shop today, shop today. What will you buy in your shop today? You tell me. You know, the grown up has to choose something. What are they going to choose? Oh, look. There's going to buy some cocoa. And this is going to make them mm, chocolate tray bake. And that's in our recipe, grown ups, this week. So you could make some of that and actually sell it in the pretend shop. Put it on a plate next to some Play Doh cake. People could buy it and really use it. That would be fun, wouldn't it? So, the last bit of the song would be Oh, 
I'll buy some cocoa and a banana too, banana too, banana too. I'll buy some cocoa and a banana too this fine day. Oh, what will you buy in our shop today? Shop today, shop today. What will you buy in our shop today? You tell me. Hurry, hurry. You better be quick. Nearly time for the shop to close. <gasps> Shopkeepers just put the sign up. Does it say? That's right. Oh. So, shopping game's over. Shopping's over. Definitely time to have a little bit of that. Nice drink. And we'll see you again soon. But goodbye from us now. Hi from Judy and Claire and Sarah in the Joy Library. And let's sing goodbye. Wave goodbye to everyone. Wave goodbye to everyone. Wave goodbye to everyone. Wave goodbye. Kiss goodbye to everyone. Kiss goodbye to everyone. Kiss goodbye to everyone. Kiss goodbye. Bye. See you soon.